Milk and other cultured dairy products such as yoghurt often appear in many recipes for baked goods, even though they're generally not seen as a fundamental ingredient in baking. However, they do hold many beneficial properties, particularly when used in cakes and breads, which is why they're still pretty important. Today I'm going to go over the main functions. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Claire and this is my cake chemistry series, the one where I'm talking all about the science behind baking. If you're enjoying these videos so far, please do remember to give them a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the latest updates from me. And of course, if you've got any questions, topics you want me to talk about in the future, please do pop them in the comments below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram. Okay, let's get into the video. Milk contains lactose, a very fast browning sugar, as well as proteins. Both of these take part in the Maillard reaction, which is what helps give baked goods their golden brown crust. Secondly, they slow down staling. The fats, proteins and sugars, again particularly lactose, interfere with starch retrogradation, which is the main cause of staling in baked goods. So therefore, by adding milk or other dairy products, this extends the shelf life. Thirdly, they help to soften crusts. Crusts form when water evaporates from the surface of baked goods, leaving a crispy outer layer, particularly in products such as French bread, which are made with water. If we add milk, however, the proteins and sugars bond with the water molecules, delaying the process of evaporation and therefore we get a slightly softer crust. Number four, milk and other dairy products contain small amounts of sugar and fat, which provide an extra richness to baked goods. They also help to blend other flavors together and mask any saltiness. Function number five, they improve the texture of baked goods. Cakes and breads made with milk generally have a more even and tightly packed crumb. This is because the sugars, fats, emulsifiers and calcium salts help stabilise any small air bubbles. The more small air bubbles we have, the finer and more even the crumb. Milk also helps to firm up the crumb in cakes, making them slightly spongier. This is because of the proteins and calcium salts it contains, which strengthen the egg structure. Function number six, adding moisture. As we would expect, milk adds moisture to baked goods because it's made up of 88% water. This water helps to dissolve sugars, develops gluten, and gelatinizes starch granules. And slightly contradictory to the last point, but water also helps to absorb moisture. The proteins it contains increase the water absorption rate in products such as doughs. It is this water absorbing ability that also helps to slow down the staling process in breads. Function number eight, they help in the creaming method when making cakes. This is particularly in relation to dry milk or dry milk solids, which is often shorted into DMS. This is not something most of us would generally use in the kitchen. However, the proteins and emulsifiers it contains can help incorporate air bubbles and stabilize them during the mixing process. The next function is that they provide nutrition. As we all know, milk contains calcium, which is important in bone growth, as well as other minerals and vitamins, and of course, protein. Many non-dairy milks are also fortified with these vitamins and minerals, so we can easily make the substitute. And finally, function number 10, forming foams. This is not so much relevant in baking, and more so for cold desserts, drinks, and other products, but the fats and proteins in milk and cream have the ability to trap air and form stable foams. The higher the protein and fat content, the more stable the foam. So although milk isn't a vital ingredient when it comes to baking, it can certainly provide many valuable functions in baked goods, particularly in relation to the taste and texture. Very important when it comes to the eating part. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye.